Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing an Oriana match played by MIT Zippo, or however I'm Zempo, sorry, however I'm supposed to uh, pronounce that. And she's of course playing mid lane. Unfortunately, we have the zero level bug here going on. Uh, which means that uh, all the levels of uh, champions that have been out of my sights become zero. And I don't know why it just appeared today and I haven't been able to get rid of it. But you're just going to have to deal with it just like I'm dealing with it. Anyway, um, yeah, up against Twisted Fate here, which is interesting. And yes, it is three versus two. But the gold is pretty even, so um, I think... We can safely say that this is just a good start of the match. I mean, it's not like it's already over. Um, yeah. We're just going to uh, to watch her play. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go into other lanes too much. Oh, she actually became zero level as well, even though she hasn't left my sight. So, that's not it. It has something to do with something else then. That's just my experiment there. And I hope they fix it soon. I don't even know if they know that the problem exists. But, well, they will know after I report it. <laughs> because it is a bug and it is pretty annoying. So both of them are level 7 now. And, um, yeah, Oriana, of course, great at zoning out people. But, yeah, then again, Twisted Fate is great at just, well, finishing off minion waves in one spell. And a few basic attacks for now, but it's going to be uh, very easy for him later on to uh, to get the uh, whole minion waves. So yeah, the Twisted Fate coming into this bottom lane, they get a double kill because of that. And even though they have to use the Twisted Fate ultimate and the Lulu ultimate, and maybe even... No, the Sivir ultimate is still up. Yeah, they... Um, they make it well worth it. And of course, yeah, that's what Twisted Fate does. He uh, pushes his own lane and then goes to help out in the other lanes. And, well, he gets that to work pretty nicely. He's going for a Sheen here. So, may actually go for uh, Lich Bane as his first item. Of course, it does help him last hit. Because the Sheen effect, yeah, it uh, it really helps you uh, with just uh, well getting that uh, the last hits on those minions. Um, yeah, a very easy kill here it seems for Jax. Although it seemed like he was behind when the fight began. Well, no, he was behind, but he just did more damage. At least I think he was behind. Not actually sure now. So yeah, it seems that there is a ward in this bush and Shen should know by now that there is a ward in the bush because he gets hit twice. <laughs> he should have known the first time because people don't just throw cards in that bush. That would be ridiculous. Oh, going aggressive here with the ultimate and it's not going to work I have to feel. But, well, it did work. Wow. Actually drawing out the flash. Well, didn't get the kill, but yeah, apparently Oriana has some pretty decent basic attacks. Of course, with this you get uh, uh, extra... Uh, hang on, plus 15% of her ability power is bonus magic damage. I did not know that. Okay, that's why she uh, she did so well there. So let's uh, let's rewind that a little bit. Um, so we already know it's going to be a double kill here, but well, want to see why? Want to see who overextended? Well, they really overextended just in the lane. The silver ultimate was still up from that previous fight, and um, yeah, Nif is also going to die. And yeah, <laughs> doesn't even get to hit anyone with that revenge shot. So top lane gets a kill as well, but I'm not going to watch every single kill. That's not what this is about, guys. Um, where did he go? Oh, here. 
<laughs> Too late. Did he just hit a minion with his fear? Or... I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, we have... Um, the, the, the... Oh, what's his name? Shen coming out of this... Uh, the jungle trying to catch this guy uh, but yeah they do quite a lot of damage but don't actually manage to uh, to do enough damage to well make him go back or even frighten him too much because if uh, if you kill the jungler or make him go back you actually have a safe way to go for dragon then again with the twisted faith you always have to Keep in mind that you can be spotted at uh, well while doing dragon or something like that, and he can always always join in from uh, well not across the map but from most positions on the map. So it seems that um, yeah this uh, this bottom lane let's let's put them together. Hang on, um, so we're going to do it like this. And like this, and then this guy's top lane uh, against probably that guy. And yeah, these are the junglers, so this sh this should be okay. This is smite, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, so I missed I missed the gank here. Let's let's watch that gank coming in. So the uh, Shen, oh, I thought he would ult in, but he didn't ult in at all, he just came walking in and yeah, he was fine. I was wondering if the uh, if he can ult uh, like Orianna uh, in this case, because well, you have the blackout from, uh, from Nocturne and then, well, I didn't know if that actually worked. So Twisted Fate gets another kill here, and are they actually going to stay safe now? Yeah, I think that um, this is going to be a triple kill here for uh, for Shen. Oh, no, well, Shen didn't actually grab that second kill, but yeah, Sivra gets out of it, and she may actually land uh, a boomerang blade here, and that is going to be very painful. Man, why? I I don't understand how people uh, who are 2,500 ELO make such stupid mistakes. I I really don't get that. So yeah, he just ran into turret range. That was that was a shame. It's not that he uh, would have gotten the kill otherwise, but. Yeah, he might have stayed alive a little bit longer, but yeah, well, he ran into turret range and got killed because of that. And so you see, many of the kills in high ELO aren't even because uh, they are like great players and they make great plays. Now, most of the kills just happen just like in low ELO because people make just terrible mistakes and um, get killed because of that. Some kills, of course, are brilliant, but some kills in the lower ELOs are brilliant as well. I mean, I remember a quadra kill from Teemo, which was brilliant. It was a quadra kill from, uh, oh, with a whole mushroom field. And uh, that was pretty epic. Especially because I, uh, I was waiting all game for someone to actually run into it. Because, yeah, a whole mushroom field, he had it set up over here. Um, the a whole mushroom field doesn't do anything. Uh, all it does is um, uh, is the same as one mushroom, except that you have a chance of well, a bigger chance of actually hitting someone. So you have yeah, you have a bigger chance of of getting someone poisoned, but the poison doesn't stack. So hitting multiple mushrooms doesn't really do anything. But still, he got a double kill out of that, uh, or sorry, a quadra kill out of that, and that was pretty epic, but that was not a high ELO game at all. And I found that hilarious at that time. 
if you want to see it, it's uh, it's called uh, AP Teemo with Epic Quadra Kill, I think. That's the title of the video. And actually, in one of the comments, it says when the Quadra Kill is. So, uh, you don't even have to wait until uh, it actually happens. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, these uh, turn or these um, pro players. They uh, reserve all of their uh, all of their good plays for tournaments. That's what it seems like because then all of a sudden they can pull off these crazy moves. Although I would have to say that um, I would expect them to practice those kind of moves, but. Uh, I, yeah, I don't really see them that often. I mean, sometimes you see them making great plays, of course. But that's because they play this game so often that they're bound to hit something, uh, something cool at some point. As long as you watch enough uh, matches, then um, at some point you will have, or play enough matches, at some point you will have a very epic uh, play somewhere. So yeah, the Twisted Fate coming in here and running into the ultimates from Zyra, but that's not going to phase them at all. They are just going to get a kill and going in for another kill. Oh. Wow. The He just gets out the Nocturne. And yeah, that's all that's going to happen here for now. And now it's time to uh, run into this guy, apparently. I was going to say go for Dragon, but then I saw that uh, our uh, Oriana actually went here. And she is going to pick up that kill. No! Really? Oh my god, that was so close! Run! Get the last one! No, they're not going to catch up with him. But anyway, finally time to do Dragon then. They have been trying to get Dragon for quite a while, but finally they can get the Dragon. And a very nice play there by Oriana, picking up all of those kills. Well, I think she got it. well, she did most of the work at least. I don't know if she picked up all the kills. And they are currently 12 to 11 with a 4k advantage I'm not sure where uh, Oriana's on the blue team yeah so they have a 4k advantage well three and a half I guess yeah so uh, excellent 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 and um, yeah time to farm a little bit because everyone is like well all of these minions let's not waste them and that is indeed a good thing I mean you shouldn't waste the minions Because all the extra gold you can get is uh, gold you should get. And wow, are they really going for this? I've I've seen this name a lot before, or a lot as well. Dragon. He is playing the Zinzao here. I don't know if he's uh, like famous or if I just saw him in this uh, thing. The effect seems to be a little bit off because I can't see the. Yeah, the, the 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 boomerang blade, and I can't see oracles, by the way. So if someone has an oracles, uh, yeah, it is just impossible to see the the little eye above them. I'm looking if someone has an oracles. I don't think they uh, they do. No. Not yet, not yet. But maybe at some point seems that we're still working with those vision wards and that is of course yeah it's it's good enough for dragon I guess not for Baron because Baron has this uh, annoying little bush over here 
where you can hide wards pretty easily and uh, nobody's going to pink ward that. But at this point, yeah, there aren't a whole lot of wards out. This is not a ward, it is uh it spots the entire bush though, so that's good. Oh, a nice disrupt. But, oh, she didn't get the kill. I really thought she was going to get the kill. Um, where is he? Oh, she's over. Uh, it's over here. Man, that would have been uh, yeah, a good fight for the red team if Twisted Fate actually came in because uh, that Zyra was a free kill and then it was 3 versus 2 but yeah he never came in <laughs> oh man that disrupts and the funny thing is he knew he was get he, he was being seen he he already spotted the Oriana he wasn't in a bush and or she was in the bush with him i don't remember to be honest but I know that he saw her, so... Well, maybe he hopes that she didn't have the ultimate up. Still, it's an ultimate for an ultimate, but... Yeah, well... Not good, not good. So, just a little bit of farming, and um, yeah, we destroy some turrets here here and there uh, doesn't really matter too much I mean yeah of course it sucks when your turrets get destroyed but it's not game-changingly uh, different from what it was before um, because as long as those next uh, those uh, inhibitor turrets are still up you still have a pretty safe base so and of course at this point you don't really need or you, well, you don't really have a use for those um, those laning turrets anymore, because people are not going to stop just because there's a turret there. People are just going to run into you and kill you. Even though it does help, of course, to uh, well to get that uh, that damage on the enemies. So it's useful, but it's not game changing. Of course, the gold may actually uh, make a difference, because it's one versus six turrets, so that's five times seven hundred and fifty gold. That's a big amount of gold. So yeah, we're just farming and farming and farming and farming and farming and farming. Not a whole lot that actually can be said about that. That hasn't been said a hundred times already. Yeah, let's uh, let's group up with both teams and just go into a full five on five team fight. That would be good. So Corky, how is he doing? Um, Corky currently at 190. He's a little bit ahead. Uh, also, the Oriana a little bit ahead, and Shen is a little bit behind. Jax is pretty far ahead, 70 minions ahead. That is a big deal. So uh, Baron goes down and. Yeah, then this guy goes down because he was trying to uh, to get that steel, but it didn't work. So all in all, yeah, the red team is just uh, not farming as well as the blue team, and um, yeah, that combined with the uh, the kill deficit makes that they are losing the dragons and uh, losing the. Baron in this case because they can't keep up and that's what this game is all about of course it is all about that um, yeah it getting an adv advantage and snowballing off of that so making your adva advantage bigger and bigger and bigger until it's out of control and nobody can stop it and um, 
yeah, so that's how this game works. It just, yeah, the, the ending is usually a little bit too slow for my taste, but hey, that's the way it is. We're just going to have to deal with that. So Shen is coming in here, and he's going to try to taunt someone, but didn't get it. But they do grab the kill, so it's no problem. He can miss all he wants as long as he gets the kill. Or as long as someone gets the kill. And Sivir is just going to recall and defend her base with the three remaining members of her team. Well, actually the three remaining. There's only one guy dead. <laughs> And that was the support, so it doesn't even matter. The support at level zero. So yeah, the Jax is just cleaning up uh, the jungle a little bit. Getting the red buff. Going to grab these minions now. And yeah, you should have no problem cleaning up this whole minion wave. I wonder why he didn't use that uh, AoE skill that he has. It seems so much more efficient. But maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it has a very high cooldown. I don't know. It's this stun thingy. Um, that's this one. Yeah, there's a 12 second cooldown. So I guess he didn't want to spend it on the minions. Just in case someone came in. Or something like that. I don't know. Oh, a very nice ultimate by Oriana, and they pick off the, uh, the, the, the Twisted Fate instantly. And they're going to just continue on, ignoring the turrets, and uh, just going for this, uh, yeah, for this ace. They do trade one for one there. And. Yeah, at this point they can just go in and try to kill this uh, this Lulu, and of course they get an ace. This Lulu is not going to be able to stay alive. So um, yeah, that's the end. Wow, that um, all of a sudden went out of control. Just that last team fight was just incredible. Let's let's rewind to that last team fight because at this point it was still yeah they were ahead by a pretty decent margin. But this last team fight was really, really strong for the blue team. It's really this, um, this ultimate. That ultimate that only hit Twisted Fate, that actually places him close enough for the rest of the team to uh, to just jump on him. And of course, yeah, after that, it is a pretty easy feat. And they get the the next. Well, the. They're going for the skill, but it's really not necessary. They could have just finished off the the turrets, and uh, that would have been good as well. Anyhow, Oriana game done, and she actually wins. So hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG. Let me show you the gold. Now you can see ten thousand on this team, and everyone here has ten thousand. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they kind of lost that.